frankly, uh, with audacity. Uh, the uh, so our conclusion or my conclusion? Your own personal m okay, conclusion. Okay, my, my personal conclusion was that uh, that uh, he was, uh, well, he was, well, not brought to Damascus, but uh, that he was really presented uh, by to the public by an interested party. So he was sent from this interested party to Lebanon to fold the commission and then to go back and to prove that he was able uh, to fool you. It's, it's possible, it's an assumption giving us some, uh, some facts credible facts which are true and, and then uh, other facts which are not true and then discredit the investigation. But uh, again, May, to, to find out this, we asked uh, the Syrian authorities uh, for a chance to interview him before I left. I, I have no idea what happened afterwards mm. before, because before they answered, uh, the I, I have no idea. I have no idea, but exactly to find out what happened, why he changed his mind, which apparently he did. We asked, and, and this is the good thing of an international investigation, we asked the Syrian authorities, please let us re-interview him, ask him why did you do this press conference, how did you end up uh, in Damascus, did you lie to us, did you lie on the press conference. So we, we, we sent out this legal request, um, but again, no I left, so I don't know. Um, how much uh, did the telecommunication technology uh, help in uh, unveiling Hariri's killer through the cell phone lines used by the perpetrators? At my time, it helped uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we found out that uh, well, the, this, this uh, truck which carried the explosives was directed mm -hmm. by a certain number of people through cell phones and we found out where the cell phones came from and so on and so forth. But uh, we, we were not, by the time I left, uh, we were not done with that part of mm. the investigation. So hopefully that, uh, that continued and I would uh, suppose it continued because now yeah. we are uh, two, almost two and a half years later. So um, I can promise you it continued in a dramatical good. way because uh, there was a uh, killing attempt against uh, uh, Major uh, Samir Shadi who was in charge and uh, then they asked him to leave uh, for Canada to uh, keep mm -hmm. his security because he might be a witness. And then Major Wissam Hid, who was in charge of yeah. this uh, particular issue, who discovered uh, important informations and uh, he was coordinating with uh, the commission in Monteverdi, uh, was eliminated. He was killed in a terrible... Um yes, I know I met uh, Wissam Eid, uh, I think uh, once or twice, um, but um, my, my investigators worked with him very closely and they were really shocked when they saw I got calls. Uh, so it was a, a tragedy. Yeah. was a tragedy. Uh, do you think that uh, he took with him uh, the information that uh, he discovered or uh, it's already safe with the commission? So if he, if he discovered anything uh, significant, mm. uh, which, which again I don't know, um, it, is, it was definitely handed over or, or, or kept in a safe place. So he, I, I, he was a real professional. So I'm convinced if, if he had any significant information, it was not just in his head, but that he put it on paper, that it's either with the uh, ISF or with the commission or with both. So, so I don't think anything was lost. Mm. And uh, these were really important informations that uh, caused uh, his uh, assassination. I don't know, again. Mm -hmm. I'm speculation, maybe, but uh, uh, that, that speculation. can lead to I, this conclusion. I, I don't know, but uh, of again, we, I think in our second report, we, we recommended how this investigation was supposed uh, to continue. So we gave written um, information uh, and uh, suggestions to my successor, and among them was uh, work on the telecommunications. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so we felt that this was very, extremely important. Uh, Dekir Meles, you entered uh, Babda's presidential palace. I remember that <laughs> uh, 
it was quite uh, a shock for many in Lebanon. Um, uh, what can you tell us about uh, this? Uh, how did you take this uh, decision uh, and uh, um, about uh, questioning or maybe meeting the President of the Republic uh, at that time, uh, President Emil Lahoud? Uh. Mm -hmm. Well, first, out of courtesy, I presented myself to the President because he was the President uh, of, of, of Lebanon. Afterwards, he was interviewed uh, by two senior investigators of uh, the Commission. And uh, as I always mentioned in, in my, my uh, two press conferences, because these questions uh, came up, uh, President Lahoud uh, was uh, cooperative. He volunteered to be interviewed. Um, so um, he was he was very cooperative uh, with the with the investigation during my time. That uh, he signed the papers uh, after uh, re reading them, um, the QA. Uh. Absolutely, absolutely. In your uh, previous um, interview, you said that uh, some other uh, big responsible in Lebanon didn't accept uh, to sign uh, uh, some of their um, answers concerning uh, the case. No, I didn't say this. I said some had uh, difficulty in signing it because they were not used to it. But uh, each and every witness uh, who was interviewed uh, by the Commission um, uh, signed uh, his, his statement, of mm. course, but uh, that was new to me, a new impression that uh, people were not, not used to, to have what they said on paper and then sign it, legally binding. Mm. So as soon as uh, uh, there are questions, they consider themselves maybe uh, suspects, so... Uh, uh uh, no, it was just, uh, and that that was a very personal impression. People, some some people in Lebanon were not uh, were not used to be uh, to be held liable for what uh, what they said. But after, in in the end, each uh, and everyone signed his statement. Okay. Uh, no matter if he was uh, a president, if he was a military officer. Uh, if he was uh, an ordinary they citizen. They didn't refuse to do so? No. Okay. And each one accepted it. Mm -hmm. Did you have the impression that President Lahoud was aware of the uh, assassination? Uh, and uh, uh, was he supposed to know um, if the four generals were aware of uh, the assassination of Premier Hariri? Again, that was, uh, as a prosecutor, an impression uh, doesn't help. So I can, can really can't give you an answer uh, to that. So I always uh, mm -hmm. told people President Lahoud during my time mm -hmm. was not a suspect in the case. That's, that's all I can, I can yes. say. Impressions as a prosecutor, you can't win, you can't win a case by having impressions, you yes. have to have but, uh, uh, evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, and you repeated many times that he was cooperating uh, with you. Uh, maybe uh, because you arrested General Mustafa Hamdan. Could you um, think uh, that um, uh, he was not telling uh, President Lahoud about? Uh, Again, that 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 would be uh, suggesting. Yes. Uh, or or. Considering but you arrested things. Uh, General Mustafa Hamdan. Of course, yes. Uh. Well, I did not arrest him. I suggested uh, exactly. to the Lebanese authorities yes. uh, to arrest him, and they followed our advice. But uh, again, what what uh, I think uh, or what I what my impression is, it's not helpful in a in a case like this. It's mm -hmm. not helpful in any judicial case. Uh, I'll have to present evidence. What Mr. Medes thinks may be uh, important mm. to journalists, of course, but uh, a court, a tribunal won't be impressed by that. Okay. Uh, we have to stop uh, again with a new commercial break and then we'll resume uh, uh, our uh, interview with uh, Judge Medes. <laughs> 